Proteins bestow upon us many powers, including the power of sight. Opsins are proteins that allow us to see and perceive color, converting light into signals that our brain can understand. Vision starts in the retina, where there are two cells that give you sight, rods and cones. Rods help you see at night and don't have these types of opsins. That's why darkness has but one color. Cones, on the other hand, contain a different opsin depending on which part of the visible light spectrum they're sensitive to. L-cones have the long wave sensitive opsin, so they are more sensitive to lights at longer wavelengths, like red over here. M-cones have the middle wavelength opsin that's more sensitive to green adjacent light, and S-cones have the short wave opsin that's sensitive to blue adjacent light. Perception of color doesn't happen in our eyeballs, though. We need another organ for that. Brain. Our eyes are connected to our brain via the optic nerve, so if these red-sensitive cones are sending a bunch more signals versus the other two types of cones, then our brain can use the sum of these signals in order to perceive red light. The genes that code for the red and green opsins are right next to each other on the X chromosome, and they look really similar. Probably because 40 million years ago in some of our primate ancestors, the LW gene duplicated itself, and then the duplicate evolved independently to become the MW gene. Anyway, since these genes are so similar and so close to each other, they sometimes misalign during meiosis, and then they end up recombining with each other instead of with themselves. And this could lead to the deletion of one or even both of these genes. Congratulations! You now have red-green color blindness, probably. If a copy of the long wave sensitive opsin has been deleted, this will cause a type of red green color blindness called protonopia. A proton person will rely entirely on the medium and short wave opsins, confusing certain colors at the higher wavelengths. Red will seem dark brown or even black. Loss of the MW opsin will result in deuteranopia, which causes a similar confusion between reds and greens, but with a complete lack of color perception in those middle ranges. Losing both the LW and MW genes knocks out two of the three cone pigments, leading to blue monochromacy. Only blues can be perceived, and every Rubik's cube looks solved. Since these genes are on the X chromosome, these conditions are inherited in a sexist manner. I mean, an X-linked manner. Unlike the other 22 chromosomes, we don't all get the same combination of sex chromosomes. Mutated genes on the X chromosome will unevenly affect those who only have one copy. That's why people who have an X and a Y chromosome are more likely to be colorblind. This person right here with the two X chromosomes is a carrier of these colorblindness defects. They are not colorblind because they have this other beautiful X chromosome that can make all of these opsins correctly. Whereas the person on top only has the one X chromosome with the bad copy of these genes. So they are colorblind. In order for a double extra to be colorblind, all of the X chromosomes that they receive from their parents have to have these mutations. 10 out of 10 for all these guys. Opsins help us see people's red flags. Zero out of ten for the incestuous LW and MW genes.